Hey guys, today is going to be a Draw My Life video, and to be honest, I suck at drawing as well as writing, so don't complain when you're seeing some sloppy work in hand. And yeah, let's get started. So it all started when my grandparents decided to take a trip to California to see how it was there, and they brought their car with them, and they live at, in Italy for their whole entire life. Once they got to California, they decided to live there since they saw how beautiful it was there. My grandma got pregnant with my grandpa and um, she had twins and there's my mom and my aunt and my mom had me as well as my brother in 2007 and uh, she had my cousins. My side of the family decided to move to Sacramento and they kept moving back and forth to LA and then finally they decided to move firmly in LA. So my mom was the first person to graduate from high school and college when she had me and my dad decided to leave us just because he was a player and couldn't stand to be in the family. Elementary, I was pretty much a loner. In class, I was trying to read from the board, and I was like, whoa, why is this so blurry? And I figured out I couldn't see the board, and I needed glasses since I went from the family. My mom had to schedule me an appointment, and I had to wear these weird goggles to see and read from the board. And when I got to school, people started making fun of me because I was wearing glasses and calling me four eyes. A year goes by, and the kids that were making fun of me for wearing glasses, they had to wear glasses, but I didn't care for them. I was always a shy person throughout my school years, and I didn't seem to mind it. So my family and I uh, went to Italy for the summer, and I, from what I remember, I got lost at a museum, and these two policemen tried to help me out, and one of them was translating it for me, and eventually I found them, or the police guy found them for me. We watched an outside movie, which was really cool to see. Then when we came back, uh, my mom got a letter from school saying I have to repeat second grade because I didn't go to summer school. But I guess that was okay because that's when I first saw my first class in school. And we hanged out and played basketball, karate, and tennis, and tetherball for My mom bought me a dog and I called him Lulu. He was a dog son. And when I was in school, the gate was open and my dog ran away just because my grandma didn't shut the gate. I'm really sad when that happened and I put out flies everywhere just to find him. And I'm hoping someday I will find him because we have a chip inside of him and we're hoping that will help us to locate him. Graduation came around the corner and I had to make a huge speech and I was so nervous just because I'm shy and I didn't know what to say. The school came along and I thought this school was so huge in every way since elementary was so small to me and I was a shy person still. So in between classes, I would always see this odd kid and he had ADHD so everyone thought he was weird and I would get a kick out of him when stalking him to his, um, his reaction is hilarious in every way. And uh, yeah, apparently I knew I knew this kid from elementary school. So we go way back, but I, I barely um, talked to him in elementary school. This is the year I started to actually talk to him more. When we got to high school, my close friend wanted us to go out with each other, but I was too shy to ask him. And then later on that lunch, he asked me out, but I ran away because I didn't know what to expect from relationships and how that went. I thought I wasn't ready. But then 
my friend talked to me about it during after lunch and saying that um, he felt hurt that you ran away. So then when the bell rang after school, I went up to him and saying that um, we could go out. And that was kind of awkward for me because I was really new to this and I was a bit nervous to ask him out instead of the other way around. But that's how it went. And I remember the exact time that I asked him out it was at 317, which is crazy. So we were together throughout the whole entire high school days. And we graduated from high school together, which was awesome. And during summer, we flew to Hawaii together. We went to two islands. We went to Maui and Honolulu. And over there, we went snorkeling and took a boat out and saw some sea turtles and eels and lots of different kinds of fishes. And it was, it was such a cool experience. Then later we went zip lining, which was amazing. The view was fantastic. And I noticed a guy wearing a GoPro knife that I wanted. Then we hiked 30,000 feet, I believe it was, to an active volcano. I'm not sure which island we went to for that, but it was a lot of fun to see that in person. But six months later, me and him didn't get along and we just broke up. So it was very hard. We almost went out for like four years, but nope. So in college, it happened. So then later in life, I went to my local library, and that's where I began watching YouTube videos and other things on the internet because my family was too cheap to get internet for me. So then I began thinking to myself, I should start a YouTube channel because I have some amazing video ideas for everyone to see. But I was too scared to show them to people or to my friends because I would feel that they would judge me. So that's when I started getting really into cameras and my grandma gave me a Polaroid camera, but I lost it somehow. So here's all of my cameras that you guys can take a look at. But then I decided to film myself anyways and to create like music videos and other random things that I can think of at the time. Then I was about to upload my first video, but I decided not to because I was just too scared. Then later in life, um, we would always be moving in and out of apartments just because my stepdad would be always getting in and out of jail all the time. And there was a point of our life where we had to get a hotel for who knows what reason. It was a sketchy, really sketchy. The weird thing is, I saw my crush there. I was like, hold the elevator, and there he was. I was thinking to myself, this guy looks familiar. And OMG, he was my first crush, but I never said anything to him because I was um, shy. I saw him out in public with a crowd, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk to this guy. This was meant to be. So we exchanged numbers and I stalked him on Facebook only to find out that he has a girlfriend. So that was a bummer. Then I decided to try to be social and go out to different parties and I met this guy and we were playing pool together. And then we went to the pool and I guess that's when he started finally to like actually talk to me more. Maybe because he saw me as a king. I don't know. So then we talked about video games and life and all that jazz, and he ended up liking me. So then I came over to his place to play video games, and that's when he asked me out. So I met one of his close friends, and uh, we made YouTube videos, so that made me start getting to YouTube videos and putting myself out there. I would go to Disneyland near my boyfriend having a good time. He bought me a pass, which I'm super grateful for. I went to concerts and saw a Laker game for the very first time. So we finally got a squad going. It was myself, my cousin Gail, and her girlfriend Nadia, and my cousin Mikey. I forgot to mention one other person that was Chris as well. He's supposed to be there. Also, Nadia was special because she didn't have an arm and she would tell me a story where 
a short stitcher in the water, but that wasn't actually true. She just liked telling that story, but she was just born with it. Then a year after I started dating, my boyfriend, we moved in together, and he has three dogs. One name is Kyrie, Jack, and Stewie, and I love them, and thank you guys for watching so much. I really do appreciate it, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to suggest anything.